Hey everybody, it's Chugga Connor. Welcome back for more Mother 3. Alright, in the last episode, we got to the, what we thought was the 100th floor of Porky's building, but in this part we're going to hopefully board this elevator and go to what's hopefully the 100th floor. I was trying not to use a word. I was trying not to use the same word a bunch of times though, but oh well. I guess I fail at thinking of stuff for grammar-ish things. Next stop, 100th floor. Huh? I hear Magipsy music. Is this where Locria is? Let's go ahead and save real quick. I wonder, could this be where Locria is? It's this... It's a shell! Huh? You guys have no tact whatsoever, do you? Get out of there and get on the next elevator, and then make it to the real 100th floor! This still is the 100th floor, huh? Well, let's go in and see Locria. Hopefully she's alright. Huh? Bananas? What are these bananas doing around here? Luxury bananas? Horns? Facades clothing? Could this mean... Facade was the seventh Magipsy Locria all along? A traitor to his people? Whoa! So this is the traitor... So Locria was in fact a traitor, just like uh, Letter was telling us. It's Facade. Facade was Locria betraying his people and being in cahoots with Porky who taught him about the needles. Excuse my strong language here, but I gotta say, that's some great fucking storytelling right there. Anyway, so we went ahead and we got Locria's memento, or rather Facade's memento. So there's luxury bananas and ancient bananas. Um, I don't really want that ancient banana, though, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw it away. I kind of did cut the video at some point along the line. You guys will never see where I emptied out my inventory and room for these luxury bananas. Can we slip on these just like Salsa did? Yes, we can. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. So yes. I wonder... I really wonder, though. Is Facade still around because his needle hasn't been pulled yet? Or I wonder how Facade was as a mad gypsy. I wonder if he was kind. What's this mouse? I don't think Locria is coming back anymore. Oh, me? I'm a mouse Locria like to dote over. He had a creepy laugh. So he might have seemed like a really mean person in most people's eyes. But he was very nice to me, at least. Do you think he'll be coming home soon? I'm so lonely. Wow. So Facade was actually nice? He actually cared for that little mouse who had no home or anything? I have to say. It's reasons like that, the facade is my favorite villain in the series. That is just amazing. It really makes you wonder, though. I wonder what could have caused facade to become a traitor to his own people and just abandon that mouse like that. Whoa. This place is looking eerie. It's definitely looking very industrial. I wonder if this could really be the 100th floor. I certainly hope it is. Jeez. Alright. And of course, another save point. They're just being overabundant with these save points. Like, I swear to God. It's like every five steps we get a save point. I guess there won't have to be any worry if we somehow manage to die, despite how ridiculously overleveled we are. Whoa, what is this? I better not run, though, because I could probably kill these enemies already in one shot. Here we have the Boa Transistor. Let's see what it can do. It can die. That's about it. What's this right here? It looks like a really cool enemy. One of my favorite enemies in the game, actually. It is... Kane. Over 9,000! Very strange enemy. Pretty cool. You can see in its enemy bio what it does. I really don't have much to say here. It is dead already. I am just that damn good. No, I'm kidding. You don't really need to be... I can climb this ladder to nowhere. Okay, whatever. I'll run with it. Okay! 
going on. Let's see, this is another ladder that doesn't go anywhere. Let's try going through here and see where it leads. Oh, whoa! Is that an upgraded version of the Rhinocerocket? I think it is! The Rhinoceros... The Rhinocerocket Mark II. God, I love this enemy. It's such a cool enemy. It was one of the enemies that was uh, revealed before uh, the game was released. And I gotta quit saying enemy. I gotta quit it with the repetition in the words that I say. Or, as opposed to the words that I don't say. Ah, whatever. What's this? Probably don't need to tell you this, but whatever you... Do not tackle anyone! Okay! Aw, oh, I'm so clumsy! Ah! <laughs> Watch it, you jerk! I would've fallen and it not been me! You moron! Had I not been me, wow. That was actually pretty funny. I thought for a second that I almost would kill him. So, this building is still under construction. Uh, does that mean we're at the top? I certainly hope it does. Afraid of heights? Kind of the sky is all bright and blue here. I mean, the sky looked kind of black from the bottom. Maybe we're somehow above all that pollution and destruction. A favorite pizza! Nice, let's see what that, how much that recovers. That recovers 250 HP. Very, very nice. Our inventory is pretty much full, though, so... Yeah, we probably won't even need to use it. Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? That was... A love walker! Probably one of the strangest enemies you'll encounter in this game. The love walker. It's... Certainly unique. It drops the goddess ribbon 3% of the time, and it says love on its butt, which is weird. But anyway, the love walker, it drops the goddess ribbon 3% of the time, which is the ultimate ribbon for both Kumatora and Boney, so if you want to get ultimate everything like I will be... You want to get to it? I got one on my first kill! Holy crap, a loody! Wow! You guys saw it on camera right there. Kumitar has already gotten the Goddess Ribbon. That means I'm only going to have to get one off camera. Jeez! Anyway, yeah, that'll give her 14 more defense. Nice, not bad. Ribbon of a Goddess. Yeah, I think that sums it up pretty well. Everything's made of concrete and lumber. Lumber. Is that a hundredth floor you're asking? Of course it isn't, duh. This is not the hundredth floor either. You can die. Someone tries to toast your donk, then you would die. Whatever. Uh, let's go up here. Don't touch danger to your polyus lover by other any one of the construction personnel is forbidden. Uh, let's pull it just for fun. Let's pull it. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> This is easily one of the funniest things I have ever seen. No problem here. <laughs> Heavy looking steel ball. Yeah, whatever. That is easily one of the funniest freaking things I've ever seen in an RPG. Can this guy talk to us? No, he cannot. Wow. That, I'm sorry, though. That, that is easily one of the funniest things I've ever seen in a game. Whoa! Okay, took care of them. Let's go ahead and see what's around here. That's a dead end. Wow, such pointless map design. Apparently that counts for good level design by Nintendo standards. Whatever. Oh, what? We already know it's not the 100th floor. Okay, attention workers, some idiots have snuck onto the construction site and are causing loads of trouble. Idiots, 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 you idiots. I'm talking about you guys. Come on now, how about you actually try to come to the 100th floor already? You're really starting to irritate me. You're making my dentures itch like crazy. Get on the next elevator already. Dentures. That's kind of weird. From what I remember... Ooh, angel gloves. Uh, you don't need to get those. Kumator has already got the mystical gloves, but you can get them if you want to, but personally, I'm just going to stick with the mystical items, okay? That's just me. You can do whatever you want. But anyway, uh, we're going to end this off here before we go on this elevator, okay? Off camera, I'm going to get another goddess ribbon, okay? So anyway, next time Mother 3, we'll get on this elevator. Future side of the Great Porky Swimming Bath. Whatever. It's kind of weird that there can be more of the building above where it's under construction. But anyway, yeah. I guess it is. See you guys later.